Hi, it's Jace from Easy Properties. I'm super excited to be chatting to Chris Marseille from the Duke here today. We are in Cape Town. It is beautiful. Chris, thank you so much for spending some time with us. That's an absolute pleasure. So, Chris, this has been described as basically sophistication on the edge of glory. Tell us, how did the Duke come about? So, um, we are uh, predominantly based in Durban and uh, entered the Cape Town market in sort of 2017, 2018. Uh, Cape Town market, I'm sure a lot of people know, is a very competitive landscape. So we took the risk of uh, building a complete product and bringing a complete product to market to stand out from the crowd. And hence here we are um, in a position where we can actually sit in the product, enjoy it, look and feel, and that was the ultimate intention for us. Amazing stuff. Yeah. So Chris, we know Cape Town's foreshore is at the forefront of basically property development in Cape Town. What made you decide on this location for the Duke? Well, the property market in the City Bowl, um, very competitive as well. And as a specialist in refurbing buildings, it is often down to the availability of buildings. We struck it out here being very lucky in terms of uh, acquiring this corner wedge of a block of what is very fast becoming an, a hotel node which is in the new corporate node of the city. And hence all of those box ticking requirements led us to um, really chase after this purchase because we knew the end product um, was going to tick a lot of the boxes of where investors uh, are looking. Chris, what kind of insights into the property development market led you into offering this property? Um, it was the early rise of the Airbnb investor market. Uh, obviously, Cape Town's property market is almost directly linked to the tourism market, specifically here in the City Bowl. Now, uh, although there was a slight dip during COVID in terms of the viability of that Airbnb market, uh, we have seen a huge bounce back in terms of the investor demand for people who, in our case specifically, are looking for a property that can generate a return but at the same time, given the new landscape, are looking for somewhere that they can stay two days to a week, a month in Cape Town and then generate a return when they're not here. So we're fitting perfectly into a mold that we find um, are not pure investors who will never set foot in the place, but we feel like we are a good enough product that a wealthy investor wouldn't mind spending the weekend or a week in our product as well. Nice. Yes, an investor staying in their own investment. Exactly. What are the trends you're seeing at the Duke in terms, of, in terms of tourism? So tourism has started bouncing back. Have you seen any difference in the Duke since then? Um, we have, although we uh, have recently taken our first transfers, um, going back to being a complete product that you can look, feel and touch in your purchasing journey, uh, the next bonus is that as soon as you've fulfilled all of your conditions of sale, you can start operating. So we took less than a month ago our first batch of transfers and I already have 10 apartments in the building operating, capitalizing on what is already a good bounce back and everyone is really expecting a, a bumper season. So even if you had to purchase a property today, you'd roughly be able to be operating within four to six weeks sure. and time-wise being able to capitalize on what we all know is going to be a bumper season, yes. um, we tick that box as well. Amazing. Oh. Chris, we can see the basically the architectural design. It's got the charcoal finishes. It's got the rooftop area with amazing views. What insights can you give us into that arch architectural design and the design elements at the Duke? So the nature of a converge, converted property is such that there are many ways in which you can piece the puzzle or the design together. Now, as specialists, we feel like our experience has led us to divide each floor plate optimally. Um, that on a pure spatial flow design, uh, we feel we've absolutely nailed it in almost every single apartment. And then it comes to um, the darker tone of finishes that we have actually decided on. And the advantage of being a builder developer uh, is that we could start and see how things were progressing and then bring in other elements um, which improves the product as we go. For example, you'll see in a lot of the units we've introduced timber to yes. offset against what is a darker palette. Yes. Um, and then coupled with our beautiful polished concrete flooring, yes. 
yeah. just brings the light out. So we took a little bit of a risk in terms of bold, dark colors, but then as we saw the product progress, we were able to bring in lighter elements to offset those dark elements and ended up with what we have today. And it's absolutely stunning, if I say so myself. So Chris, from a development point of view, what were the challenges you faced and what are some successes you'd like to share with us? Um, Challenge-wise, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a highly competitive market in Cape Town, which also leads to things uh, being slightly more expensive. So as a new entrant to the, to the Cape Town market, I'd say our biggest success was establishing our supply chains, um, be it at more expensive rates, but ultimately being able to bring together a product which is very affordable. And uh, if I don't say so myself, probably the most competitively priced development on the market. Um, we've learned that buyers are really looking for value. Um, in our price zone, your investor buyers are quite price elastic within our zone but are just looking for what the most value is. A pure investor who's not gonna set foot in the apartment has a particular apartment type that will suit him, but someone looking for a hybrid has another type of apartment that would suit them. So the learnings that we've um, had over the process of this build have been invaluable for things going forward. That's amazing to hear, Chris. Thank you so much for chatting to us today. We appreciate it and uh, we hope to see you soon. Cheers. Easy Investors, I'm so looking forward to growing my property portfolio. As Chris said, he wants a place where investors can actually come and stay in their investment. Now remember, you can do the same. You can get involved in all the properties on your portfolios. Come for drinks, come for socials, get involved, grow your property list, and just enjoy what Easy Properties has to offer. What are you waiting for? Get investing.